the pastor wears Prada. African preacher says God ordered him to wear heels. <laughs> In Togo, a Togolese pastor known as the high heels pastor is gaining attention across Africa after images emerged on social media of the clergyman preaching in high heels. According to local media, the pastor used to suffer from body pain and many illnesses. Once he switched to wearing heels, as God commanded, his sufferings went away. Rumors spread that he also wore women's clothes, of which the pastor said, quote, I don't wear women's clothes like people have said on social media, but I wear all kinds of shoes according to the calling that I receive. The pastor is known for owning more high heel shoes than most women. Local media reported that the high heels pastor is applauded for breaking the norms of how people think a pastor should dress. Um, am I wrong to assume that the pain is an excuse and he just likes this and he's using the pain? And no, God you are not wrong because everyone oh. freaking knows that heels are extremely painful and they cause right. body pains. So what do you mean? you started wearing heels to heal your body aches. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so it's the opposite. It has Heels has never helped anybody fix any sort of pain. So that's an excuse. They're actively so he, bad for you. <laughs> they're bad for you. But so he just like, he's just, it would, I mean, people are saying it's based, but it would be more based if he just like owns it and just be like, I, I just like this. This is what I like. Like, don't bring God into this. Don't be like, oh, this is, I, you know, if you, it would be more base if he was normalizing it by just admitting that I'm into this. And this is what I, what, what I like, how I like to look like. You yeah, know what but I mean? for a lot of people, that wouldn't be safe at all. So, like, part of this makes me feel kind of sad because this is probably yeah. his way, maybe to... the only way, his only path to his own self-expression is to say that it was a vision commandment he got from God. That's the only way that it can be okay, like in his community or even safe for him to express this part of himself. Mm. He probably wants to, like, yeah, also he, it's matching all the time. Like if it was just for pain, look, like he's wearing a- If you click gold... on the Facebook post, there's a lot more photos. This one? There's also some below that. Oh, uh, this one. This is Twitter, not Facebook. I know, no, but on the Facebook one, there are more photos. There's a lot more on the Facebook. This one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, sure. Wait, that does sound it. What? Nope, that's not it. Wait, damn it. Hmm. I'm going to find it. Go to the Twitter. Because he has such good outfits, too. I don't know. I thought this was... <laughs> Music guy is saying, God told me to sleep with men. <laughs> um, yeah, no, guys, this is the hack. This is the hack. You just say that no. God told you to do it. Here we go. So, like, look, it's not just a pain thing. He's matching it. There's orange in this outfit, and this is orange, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this is not matching. What was that? Oh, this is matching. Gold. He looks colors. good, like stunt. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, like... <laughs> okay. So people yeah, are saying kinda... he rocks the heels though. Yeah, I feel kind of sad that he has to go through these excuses to make it seem acceptable. You know what I mean? It's sad that he has to do that. Like there's probably like imagine like okay, here's what I'm thinking, okay? This man had a way out, okay? He is a pastor. Okay, and he's like, dude, God told me, just shut up. Shut, this is coming from higher authority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And imagine in a conservative environment where this is seen as like bad, how much pressure this man was under that he had to find a way to do this because he just needed it so badly, even though it's not something that is accepted. You know what I mean? Like imagine the amount of struggle that you have to go through that even with all the taboo, you still have to give in and do it, right? But this shows to me that there's so many other people that don't have, like, that need this, but don't have this man's excuses. 
right? Yeah. So he's like, he's not saying like, oh, I just like this. He's saying God told me. But a mm -hmm. whole bunch of other people don't have this way out and they have to just give in to the social pressure of, and just live under the social pressure that that exists. So as 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 base as it is, as for this man to be able to live the way he wants and be the way he likes, I just to me it's an indication of a huge group, a high amount of other people that are just not being the way they want to be. Do you yeah, know what I mean? You're completely right. You're completely right. right. Like yeah. it's really interesting. It kind of reminds me of when I um, in university did my minor in critical gender and uh, sexuality studies. We talked about how like. I mean, this is kind of like uh, getting into like social de deconstructionism, but um, basically like being a homosexual or being gay is not simply a matter of if you're attracted or not. It's a matter of if you're allowed to within your environment, like how safe are you? So our, <clears throat> how do I want to put it? Like your own idea of sexuality is so, um, reductionistic in terms of like oh are you just who are you attracted to it's also a matter of what is allowed to exist in your environment like that dictates your sexuality that dictates your expression um i don't know it's just like a very it's it it's it's a very interesting way to think about these issues um, secular rarity is saying maybe it helps normalize things outside of what this religious group considers normal and it will let people be more themselves. True. Well, hopefully. Yeah, good point. Good point. Yeah. Anyways. This is why we're against traditionalism, by the way. Yes, but he looked so good in those heels. I just saw that on Facebook and I was like, we are talking about this this week. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I he confident. I like how confident he was in front of the camera. Just like you know, yeah, just like just chilling, like, like up up on one knee. Yeah, like, take that. Look at this heel. Oh, and by the way, we did title that news: the pastor wears Prada. Okay, I have seen no reports saying that he wears Prada. Just our writer came up with that title, and I thought it was so good. We had to keep <laughs> it just to clarify. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, can we? Oh, look at this. People are saying Susie looks great with that shirt and glasses. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below